technically this is my Pineapple Friday shirt on a Thursday. I'm a food stylist. Consider me a makeup artist for food. I take boring, everyday, average food and make it look amazing. Everybody loves a pina colada. What about an ice cold, frothy beer? What about a super extra fancy Bloody Mary? I'm gonna show you how I make three picture perfect drinks. We're gonna work through making a couple different garnishes for a Bloody Mary drink and a frozen pina colada drink. I have some cute cocktail picks that I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna make a couple different ones and see which one I like the best. For our garnishes for our Bloody Mary, I have your classic red pepper stuffed green olives, some cornichon pickles, pickled okra, and cocktail onions. All of these are garnishes that you will see on any classic Bloody Mary. I'm trying not to place things too perfectly. I want them to look irregular. So as I'm going through the garnishes, I'm looking for like an olive that has a really nice pit in the center, but then also a really nice green color. I'm also just constantly looking for that bright green color versus sort of an darker army green color. I'm happy with the garnish skewers that I've made for my Bloody Mary. So now I'm just gonna set these skewers aside and work on our garnishes for the pina colada. So you can't make a pina colada without pineapple garnish. So instead of cutting the top off the pineapple, I'm actually just gonna pick some of the fronds out of the center of the pineapple. The little fronds that are in the very center of the pineapple are really cute and usually are a brighter green than the exterior ones. They haven't really gotten touched by the elements. <laughs> God, I'm such a nerd. So I'm gonna wrap these in some damp paper towels and set, and set them aside and save them. And then I'm gonna cut into the pineapple. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the top off of the pineapple. And then I'm just gonna cut a ring out of the pineapple. And from here, I wanna find the piece that looks the best, that has the best color. I like this section right here, which is the part that I'm gonna try and use. The golden color is really nice on it too, but it also has some green still coming through, which is really pretty. So looking at this with the glass, it, this piece might be a little bit too big, but we can always trim it down. The last corners I'm gonna work on are a couple of slices of citrus. For our lime, I'm gonna cut it a couple different ways. I'm gonna start by slicing it down the middle and just doing it, getting a classic ring. From there, I'm gonna take that middle round piece and slice it in half into a wedge. And then again, to make two wedges. And for the lemon, I'm just gonna do a classic wedge. I have my Bloody Mary mix already made up. One thing about food styling cocktails is that most of the time they don't actually have alcohol in them. That's because they're not for consumption. We're just doing this for photography. When food styling frozen drinks, the drink is going to be on a photo set under hot lights for a long time. And the drink will completely melt by the time it's ready to be seen. So food stylists use a fake ice product that makes it look like the drink is frozen. We just take a little bit of this powder, about a tablespoon, and mix it with the liquid that would be used in the drink. So for the pina colada, I'm gonna use pineapple juice. I'm not really worried about the consistency because I can always add more water or add more of the powder product. What I'm looking for is the color. I wanna add enough pineapple juice that it looks like a pina colada and a little bit of coconut cream so it gives it that creamy looking texture of a frozen pina colada. I'm gonna do the same technique and make a different color topping for the pina colada to make it look like it's got this frothy coconut cream top to it. To give this topping a whiter color, I'm gonna just put a little bit of a whipped cream product into the bowl. So the last thing that I need to do before I really start building my drinks is put a salt rim on the glass that I'm gonna use for the Bloody Mary. In order to put this rim on my glass, I'm going to put a little bit of Cairo syrup in one of the dishes. And then on the second plate, I'm gonna do a mixture of margarita salt and chili lime seasoning. That way it gives it a really unique look instead of just like regular margarita salt. So because I'm touching all kinds of stuff, I'm gonna put on a pair of gloves, 
So when I touch the glass, I'm not transferring any grease or whatever I have on my fingertips to the glass. So I really like the way this looks because the red seasoning is going to pair well with the fact that it's a Bloody Mary, but I can also see the bigger flakes of, of margarita salt, which is just really fun and it gives it a visual interest. So now that I have my rim on my Bloody Mary glass, I'm gonna start adding my fake ice cubes into the glass. The reason food stylists use fake ice cubes is because real ice melts, duh. For consistency purposes and sanity purposes, we're using fake ice cubes. I have a funnel, so the liquid will go directly into the glass. I won't touch or mess up my salt rim and there won't be any like spillage. So I'm just moving the liquid around inside of the glass and kind of getting the air bubbles away from those um, fake ice cubes. So next I'm gonna do the pina colada. I do have a story about like a fake ice drink. I was assisting on a set one time and it was a frozen drink. I like to taste things that we make on set and so I just walked by and stuck my finger in the drink and just like tasted it. <laughs> and I was like, to the food stylist, I said, this drink tastes so weird. And she said, oh yeah, that's because it's made out of completely fake ice. And it's supposed to make you sick. Like you needed to go, you needed to go to the bathroom right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. For professional use only, keep away from children and pets. <laughs> Do not take internally. Yeah, so anyway, it's really bad for you. Don't eat it, but it's pretty. And so for the last thing, I'm gonna pour my beer. That carbonation string, can you see that? That's pretty cool. So even though the beer looks really great after I just poured it, there's no way that it's gonna stay looking this fresh and good while we set up for our beauty shot. So I'm gonna put some finishing touches on the beer at the very end to liven it back up and make it look photo ready. So the drinks are ready. Now we're gonna swap over to a beauty setup. So now we are fully swapped over to our beauty photo setup. It's time to add garnishes. So I have beautiful leafy celery that I'm putting into the Bloody Mary. I really don't think that a Bloody Mary is iconic without a really pretty piece of celery. Of course, I picked out pieces that had really nice leaves from the center of the stalk. I have a really nice like wavy, crispy piece of bacon to make it a little extra because who doesn't want a piece of bacon with their Bloody Mary? And then one of my favorite cocktail skewers that I made. Adding a little lemon wedge, I think it could use that really nice pop of color. And of course, I love a citrus garnish on a cocktail. So the Bloody Mary looks great. I'm super happy with it. Next, I'm gonna add the garnishes to our pina colada. I'm spritzing my pineapple wedge with a little bit of water because it was looking a little dried out. Remember how I wasn't sure that this pineapple wedge was gonna work? Well, now that I see it against the glass with the drink inside, I really do think it's gonna work. If anything, it might just be a little thick, so I'm just gonna trim it down a little bit. So I'm trying to decide exactly where I wanna put it so that I can just make a little slit and lay it right into the glass. I'm gonna add a cherry with a stem. And you remember those cute little pineapple fronds that I saved? We're definitely adding those in. So I had all these fun little props picked out to put into my pina colada cocktail, but now that I've had the garnishes on it, it looks so good without it. So we're not even gonna ruin it with any of this. Bye, silly straw. <laughs> I'm gonna use three different food styling tricks to make these glasses look cold and frosty. For the beer, I have a spray bottle mixed with glycerin, and water. What this does is creates big water droplets. For the Bloody Mary, I'm just gonna use good old fashioned water mister. This is a little bit more fine, but it cre also creates a really nice beaded water droplet look. And last but not least, we're gonna use spray deodorant. And yes, I said spray deodorant. In order to give my beer a really nice foam head, I'm gonna add a foam booster to some of the beer mixture. I did amazing. These drinks look awesome. I really couldn't be happier. I have a really nice golden beer with a really nice head of foam, a frosty, frozen pina colada with beautiful garnishes, and 
Last but not least, our super extra fancy Bloody Mary, fake ice and all. Everything looks cold, refreshing, ready to drink. Since I am wearing my pineapple shirt, it's only appropriate that I hold the pineapple drink. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see me style next. Follow Well Done on Facebook and YouTube. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram. Bottoms up.